Good day, class. Good day, sir. Sorry for being late. I was lying with some friends and I lost track of the time. So welcome to HRM. We have a lot of food to cover this semester. So don't expect me to teach all you everything. Hello? Yeah, I will over them early and then I will come and meet you all. Yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, class, I will have to over class early today. So I will see you all next week, hopefully. So please read the chapter on training and development. First day of class, I'm this man moving, so. I know the guy you have to keep my first class on us, or not? You better know what you're doing, yes? Okay, so morning class. Morning, sir. Okay, so as I told you all last class, today we will be doing a chapter on training and development. So I hope you all read the chapter because I am not going to be teaching it. Instead, you all are going to be teaching it to me. Okay? Uh, excuse. Excuse, sir. I don't quite understand how you go about measuring the success of a training program you now. Can you please give us an example? Yeah. Hmm. hmm. You know what? I can't think of an example. So what you can do, when you go home, Google, and find an example, bring it to the next class, and I will determine whether or not that example is relevant. Morning class. Morning. Well, I'd just like five minutes of all your time to follow these evaluations for your human resource management lecturer, please. Can you just take one and pass it, right? Can I read the new alone here too? Because I really didn't understand anything he teach. Neither. Good day. On recommendations from the faculty office, it has been brought to my attention that this is the third semester in a row that you have been receiving negative evaluations from your students in addition to a high fail rate. What seems to be the problem? I'm not sure. I'm a good lecturer. Okay, sure. Since you do not know what the problem is, I would like you to pull out this questionnaire so that I can determine what areas you are lacking. So from the assessment, it reveals that you are not motivated in performing your job and you do not have a full understanding of your job. Good morning, students. Morning. Firstly, let me welcome you all to HRM. My name is Mr. Balki Soon. Oh gosh, here again, boy. If this course will make a push, I will be doing this again or not. This man can't teach at all. Hmm. We are going to be exploring the topic of training and development. Mama, last time he didn't know anything on this topic. <coughs> I hope he at least know a definition now. Hmm. Okay, so today we'll be starting with a definition. So training. Planned efforts to help employees acquire job-related knowledge, skills, and abilities to be applied on the job. So now we are going to look at the TND process. The first step is a needs assessment. Step two, readiness. Step three, planning of programs. Step four, implementation. And step five, evaluation. So, so how does one evaluate the effectiveness of a training program? Right, so to answer your question, firstly we can use a pre-test and a post-test. Like in the case of the university, the end of semester evaluations. 